in today's episode with your fave, Alicia. Look at this. Day, I'm gonna mix fragrances. Y'all know I've been doing that. Okay, the food is out, guys. Do y'all see my friend back there? He loves looking at the alphabet, y'all. Guys, look at this. Zara. And I love, I love the term Delulu. Like, oh, you Delulu. Let me be Delulu. Like, good morning, everyone. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. It is your fave, Alicia. So, hey, you guys. Today is currently. Let's see. Today's. Thursday, January the 4th. It's currently 9.45 a.m. My son, um, he just went to daycare not that long ago. So now it is me time. So you guys, you're gonna spend 24 hours with me in this vlog because we have so much on the agenda today. So much fun stuff. Lunch, shopping, gym. As you can see, we just have a lot to do. So I'm super excited for this vlog. So make sure if you're watching and you're not subscribed to the family, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, give this video a big like, follow me on my social medias and let's get right into it so like I said it's 9 45 a.m. and I need to go to the gym you guys I haven't been to the gym in exactly like two weeks yes two weeks that Christmas break me being off of work that killed me but I'm back and y'all know I had just got my braids in so I was like I don't want to mess my my sweat my braids out blah blah girl no we back it's the new year we got goals we got stuff for our body we're still accomplishing which I really am proud of my body let me show y'all because your girl even though I've been out of the gym for two weeks I've still been doing right like eating right like I haven't been eating horribly like I still been doing my thing and yeah the body the body's coming together so that's why I said I'm not gonna mess it up by not going to the gym and keep it on with my healthy girl journey because y'all already know that's what I've been doing so yes and I know I set a goal for me to be under 200 pounds by the end of 2023 did I accomplish that goal let me tell y'all so when I very first started out this healthy girl journey it was like a little bit after Halloween I weighed 217 y'all 217 pounds that is too big for my size my my height all of that anyways I just on January 1st 2024 I weighed myself y'all and I weighed 205 yay me so even though I didn't get under 200 I'm 205 so that that I'm proud of myself okay because I've been working your girl been working so that means by the end of January I should definitely be under 200 pounds because who can't lose, lose five pounds in 30 days like you could do it Alicia so that's my goal weight for January is to lose five pounds and be 200 pounds and then by the end of 2024 I just want to be like 170 y'all like I want to get back down to like some high school weight okay I want to be I want to be a slim Alicia but anyway so that's the goal you guys so 205 and I'll be 200 by the end of this month period but anyways before we take off and go to the gym y'all look what I got look at this do you guys know what this is I wouldn't know if I looked at it either it's pre-workout y'all so this is called amino lean energy and it's pink <laughs> this is what attracted me to this clearly it's for women um I found this at Target for about $20 you guys I've never taken pre-workout before um if you don't know what pre-workout is it's just like an energy source that you can take with water before you work out energize you get you ready to work make you help you sweat and I tried to make sure I found stuff with the ingredients that helps with weight loss I think it's like called carotene something like that I don't know but this one seems like it should be okay because it has zero sugar we love that it's vegan friendly and it's gluten free so it has everything that I need so I'm about to try this y'all I promise you I'm so scared I've never taken pre-workout before but we about to try it together I don't oh it's pink lemonade flavor mm, that's gonna be good so I'm assuming I'm supposed to put it in my water I don't know I might just do like one scoop just because I've never had pre-workout before and I've heard like that pre-workout will make you shake and yeah I don't want to be shaking so let's open it up I'm gonna have to open it up with y'all and smell it I think I'm just gonna do one scoop in some water y'all that's it Ugh. why does it smell like milk or something like powder it has a little scooper in here oh this scooper is super small hold on let me show y'all this scooper baby look at that little bitty scooper no, I'm going to have to get about two scoops. That that one little scoop ain't going to nothing. Oh, it says serving size two scoops. So I'm only going to take two scoops anyway. So, okay, y'all. Let's go to the kitchen and take this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a water bottle. And I'm going to put, I don't know how much water. I did want to put it in my water bottle just because my water bottle's outside. I don't feel like getting it. So, how much water? 
much water should I put in? <laughs> Y'all, why am I about to do this? Okay, should I do one scoop? Let me do one scoop. Since this is my first time, I'm not going to do two scoops. I'm going to do one scoop just for today. Especially because I'm only going to do cardio. So, I don't need to be really amped up. Can y'all see it? I hope this is good. Please, God, let this be good. And I bought this at Target, like I told y'all, for $20. And then a day later, I went to Walmart and seen it for like $17. So, if you want to save like $3, go to Walmart and get it. Well, let me recommend it first, y'all. Let me let me tell y'all how it does for me. Ooh, it looks pink. It looks like pink lemonade now. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Come on. Let's see. Y'all baby that's not bad at all oh that tastes just like pink lemonade hold on y'all this is good this is real good and i'm just looking at it it says anytime energy weight management and mental focus yeah baby i need that mental focus your girl about to go back to work so oh yeah and y'all let me show y'all my new gym bag y'all know hopefully if you watch my last vlog well my christmas vlog my man got me a new gym bag as you can see it's a very nike little um little bag it's so cute y'all i need to turn the tag off of it but i don't keep nothing in my gym bag but a pink rag well towel i keep my beats headphones if you don't know i'm a beats girly yeah get into it so I keep that and then I just keep my wallet in case I need, you know, money, ID, all that fun stuff. That's it. I don't take nothing else to the gym, y'all. Of course, I got my Apple Watch and then I got a pink water bottle in my car that I always use. So, yeah. So let's cut this off because we got to go. Let me cut this off. Period. Oh, yeah, that's fire. And I got the Nike headband to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. Your girl's ready. <laughs> So yes, you guys, let's come on and let's head to the gym. And while I'm driving, I'm gonna finish my pre-workout. So see you guys at the gym. What's up, guys? We are at the gym, Crunch Fitness. Yes, I love Crunch, y'all, if you didn't know. So yeah, but do y'all see my friend back there? I forgot to show y'all something I got Amir for Christmas. Let me flip the camera so you can see it more. Yeah, my big boy got a new big boy C for Christmas, y'all. I got this for my baby. I got it from Walmart. Y'all, isn't this like the cutest? I When I had a child, I always knew I wanted to get him something like this because what? Y'all cannot tell me this ain't cute. It's expensive, y'all. I ain't even gonna tell you how much it is. Y'all have to look it up if y'all wanna know. It's expensive, but it's worth it because my baby, he's worth that, baby. Like, he loves it, y'all. He looks like such a big boy when he sits in it. Like, hopefully today I'll be able to show y'all him sitting in it when I go to get him from daycare because he loves it i love it like just look at it it looks like a person sitting in my back seat like it's so big like so yeah because my baby he's about to be three this june so it was time y'all that other car seat he had oh my goodness it was so small y'all he barely could get it on his little chest area me and his dad was like oh no baby it's time for a new seat so when i seen this one i was like yeah we're, we're definitely going with this one yep but anyways let's get in here and get this good work come on spidey let's go <laughs> the sauna i have the sauna to myself you guys it's hot in here so i'm definitely only gonna do 10 minutes because they turned the heat up baby i ain't ready to put that on my day back my first day mm -mm. so yep let's get this sauna and i'll see you guys when i go do my cardio guys we are done i officially so i did about 30 minutes on the treadmill i did an incline walk and i stayed in the sauna for about 10 minutes i got me a good sweat okay now the pre-workout baby let me tell you usually time if i don't like really like build my endurance up when i get in the gym and i just go straight to cardio a lot of times i'm like yawning i'm tired trying to get my energy up no y'all i got on that dang old treadmill and was working do you hear me like i even got up to like speed three i got up to like 12 incline and i wasn't like i was just moving i was like oh shit this this pre-workout definitely works like it definitely works so y'all should try it out because i'm definitely about to keep taking it now for this for the rest of this week, I'm still going to do one scoop. I probably won't go to two scoops till like next week. Like, I want to get it used to my system. And look, I don't have any shakes, y'all. 
I'm not shaking at all. So, yeah, we love that. But, anyways, it's time to go, you guys. It's about to be 11 o'clock. I have a lunch date at noon so we gotta go and i gotta tell you more about my lunch date but first let me get home shower we gotta find out what we're gonna put on and then let's go eat okay guys what's up as you can see i'm dressed i took a shower freshened up here's the earrings of the day my big bottega dupe earrings y'all i need to put my scarf on my edges to lay them down a little bit more clearly i'm wearing silver let me flip the camera so you can see my outfit it's pretty cute I tried to not do too much. Let me see, let me, hold on. Let me see if I put the camera this way, if y'all be able to see me more, hold on. Okay, you can see a little bit better. I just have on this blue top and I tried to dumb the top down by putting on some jeans. And then I also tried to dumb it down by putting on these like Ugg-like type of boots. So yeah, I think it's it's giving pretty casual, but it's still giving like, girl, you cute, you know? Cause that's the thing, 2024, I'm putting clothes on, okay? I'm not going out the door looking like yeah baby i'm going out the door looking like that girl okay so i think i look cute do i look cute y'all i hope so so the fragrance of the day i'm gonna mix fragrances y'all know i've been doing that <laughs> my high-end fragrances but i got the ysl um warm florals i already put this on my body was wet so i'm not putting this on again but i didn't put this one on of course this is the good girl carolina y'all somebody told me i need to take my fragrances out of the bathroom because the heat from the shower messes the fragrance up so tonight i'm about to take and put my fragrances somewhere else they can't be in the bathroom because baby these cost too much money i'm about to mess up my stuff oh i smell like money okay guys i don't want to be late to lunch i'll tell you more about who i'm going to lunch with and all that good stuff so let's go sorry y'all i was looking for my dang on lip balm or something i'm gonna put my lip combo on when i get there because yeah i need a little something something i do have on a little makeup i just put a little concealer on highlight blush of course and i put some mascara on and i put this brow gel on my gel since i knew i wasn't gonna be able to fill in my gel fill in my brows but they look good i'm sorry if my camera's shaking y'all i don't know why it shakes on this um i don't know why it shakes on this like why do you do that but anyways guys so like i told you guys i have a lunch date today with my realtor you guys she's my real she's my realtor but she's turned like a really good friend of mine her name is roya and yeah she helped me in taiwan found the house that we're in right now and you know we was just talking we was like we need to have lunch we need to catch up like that's my girl y'all like she has a little she has two sons now but she had her first son sebastian he's around the same age as amir and then she just had a new little boy and i can't wait to meet him it's gonna be good good girl chat good just catching up good vibes y'all know i like being around good vibes and she's a good vibe so i can't wait to chat with her so we're going to this restaurant called lulu on market it's in this neighborhood called nulu in my city louisville kentucky if you're not aware and it's like it's like a new orleans style kind of restaurant you guys it has like new orleans cajun style food louisiana style so i'm excited i've heard good things about it i've never went so you know we were talking we were like where can we go and she was like you know lulu on market's cool and I'm like let's do it so I'm excited for that I'll probably make a TikTok of just showing my experience and everything so make sure y'all follow me on TikTok too at Alicia LaFlair um on TikTok but let me put my seatbelt on y'all I gotta drive safe I gotta drive safe but I see I got my uh scarf on because I gotta lay my edges down honey we can't we can't do that y'all I'm so mad I didn't get to change out my purse but I was running out of time I didn't want to be even more late because I'm gonna be like 10 minutes late so yeah I didn't get to change out my purse I want to change out my purse real bad because I've been on this DKNY purse real bad for like the last two months. I need to change it out. Like, I own so many purses. Like, it's time, girl. Um, yeah. And I can't wait because I already know I'm like getting a new purse in February, like for Valentine's Day. So, ah, y'all know me. I'm just the girl. <laughs> I'm gonna just put my hand on it for now because it's shaking real bad because I want to talk to y'all because we need to talk. It's 2024 and it's, I just feel so much happier you guys and I just gotta tell y'all why like I just feel happy because mentally like going into 2024 I told myself I am letting go of so much stuff so much baggage that's not even my baggage and then some of the baggage it's my baggage but I realize I'm a control freak y'all I like to control things I like to you know what I'm saying know what's gonna happen how it's gonna happen control the way it's gonna happen like I be doing the most and I've realized 
girl just be a woman just be a woman be soft don't try to control anything don't try to make people do anything like it's really time for me to start living for me like I'm about to do everything this year that I want to do and I do not care who does not go with me who does not want to go on these places do anything new experiences if you don't want to do it that's fine that's your life but I am not gonna just like sit back and be chill anymore like I'm about to be 31 in May like it is I'm not wasting my 30s like I love the 30s y'all jumping in like me turning 30 it's been great it's been great at first I was scared I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna be old and things are gonna change no it's lit in the 30s it's really lit now it does come with a lot of emotions in the 30s and I think it does come with a lot of like transforming like telling yourself like oh we're not doing this no more we're not hanging with these people we're not you know we got to get new mindsets like everything comes with that I do but I like that I like that about the 30s and I think when you enter 30s you need to be doing that anyways you need to be evaluating everything so for me I'm evaluating everything and the first thing I'm evaluating for myself is how I look at my life how I picture my life I was reading something it was like you know whatever your dream life is be living your dream life as if you're living your dream life now like even though I might not be driving like the most luxury car that I want to drive I'm not in like the most luxury house that I want to be in I'm still appreciative of the car that I have I'm still appreciative of the house that I have but I'm still gonna live in this Delulu world like I'm already driving the car that I want to drive like I'm already living in the house that I want to live in like I'm already married like everything and I don't know if you guys have been peeping on um, Instagram but I have been saying a lot like it's my world let me say that again it's my world it's Alicia's world and I'm not saying that to say like it's not your world what I'm saying is it's my world I live in my own world what goes on in my world is my world and I can create anything in my world you know why because it's my world and I love thinking like that it has really gotten me through my days it makes me happy because what I've realized is people live in their own world and as they should but people are weirdos people do weird stuff people move differently people have different values different morals people are just who they are they're people you know and I'm not following people for people for that but what I'm saying is I want people to live in their world and I'm gonna live in mine you know because in my world we're nice we're feminine we're soft we're strong we get money um, we support other people other women we uplift other women we don't do weirdo things we go to lunch we get cute we put on makeup we talk nice to people we talk nice to ourselves we tell each, we tell ourselves affirmations every day we go to the gym we look cute at the gym we take care of our son we do everything for our family that we can uh, appropriately like boundary wise and that's another thing like in my world we have boundaries like we learn how to say no we learn how to say yes when we need to say yes we learn how to support our family that's what I'm saying like this is my world and I've created that's what I've been working on 2024 we only went four days into 2024 and yeah this is my world I love my world because and I love I love the term Delulu like oh you Delulu let me be Delulu like not saying like I don't live in a real world I don't understand real stuff goes on no I'm not saying I'm taking myself out of the real world I'm just saying I'm gonna be in the real world but then there's another world that's my world and I love it here I love it here and but what I'm saying is I am just in my world I'm Delulu I'm just living more care I'm just living more like freely I'm more at peace I'm more happy I wake up happy every day because I wake up and I'm like it's my world we're gonna have fun today we're gonna do this today like I love I love that mindset it's so fun you guys I promise you you should you should try to no and I'm not telling you like to say like oh you should live in your own world like adopt what I do no I'm not saying that I'm just saying like adopt new mindsets for you that work for you and for me this is what's been working for me living in my own world being happy like being spoiled like you know like people love me like just realizing that people love me like you know and I think I've always realized people love me but people love me and I need to let people love me let people be nice let people like just you know all that fun stuff like I live in my own world <laughs> but yeah that's all I wanted to tell you guys so that's why hopefully you guys have noticed like this new glow like 
I just love it here. I really do. I love it here. But anyways, guys, so I'm about 13 minutes from the restaurant. So I will just catch up with you guys when I catch up with Roya. And I'll show you the inside, show you the food I get, all that fun stuff, y'all. I told y'all y'all spending 24 hours with me. So let's get it. See you in a bit. He gon' be amazed. And Broski didn't do it. He like a piece of art judge. He was framed. Yeah. We the way, like Christian Coons with a brush in his hand. Once the demon phase, hard to blame him. Lord knows this game can be the praise. Scary hours undefeated. Okay, so I guess I'm here. This is Nulu area. I'm gonna turn the phone so y'all can see it. It's a really cute area right here where I live. Where? Yo, how did I get in my car? Oh, I'm like, where are my keys? How did I even get in here? Okay, let's go, guys. I'm running a little late and I said I wasn't gonna be late anymore in 2024 so I'm mad I'm so mad oh my gosh not the tarp being right here look at this feminist feminist gift shop that's cute okay now I gotta find this place I don't know where it is okay here it is Lulu on my okay Okay, guys, we're in the restaurant. Let me introduce you all to Roya. Hello. <laughs> Why is she being so formal? Hi. Say hi to Roya. I, told I don't have here. my martini on me. Oh, oh, don't worry. They're going to see all of that. They're going to see all the martini. But yes, this is my friend, you guys. I love her. And now, look at the restaurant, though. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's like a Louisiana style Cajun restaurant. I can't wait to get the food. So look at the menu. I don't know what we're gonna get yet. She's been telling me what she likes because she's been here before. It's Creole. Yeah, she likes the Creole. So they got the appetizers, the soup, the bayou, the NFA, you guys. I've had authentic NFA when I went to New Orleans and it's really good. That's what Roya says she likes. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or the red beans and rice. Or the oh yes, red beans and rice, jambalaya, of course. Can't go wrong with jambalaya. Mm -hmm. Oh they got pizza. Don't get the pizza. Don't get the pizza. No. Oh, that's like getting a burger at a pizza restaurant. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. I'm definitely probably going to get an entree, though. I'm pretty hungry. Oh. It looks good. They got sweets, bread pudding. I know. They got some beignets. I don't know. That's what I was just looking at. Oh, God. Oh, did he take the drink menu? Let me show y'all the drink menu. So, uh, oh, here they come. Oh, here we go. Here's the drinks. Here's the drink. It's Espresso martini, and this is a French 75. Ooh, thank you. Say hi. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, no, you didn't. Not toast. Mm. You gotta bless the table. I'm trying to taste it. I know. Let's right. taste the table. Toast. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna drink mine. Mm. That's cute. So I got a French 75, y'all. Hold on. Where's it at on the menu? We're gonna get an espresso martini. It's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad. Too strong, no. It looks really good. Like, really good. This is what I got, y'all. French 75, rabbit hole, gin, lemon juice, prosecco, simple syrup. I got all the ingredients at home, too. I could probably make me one of these. The martini, the drink, the cocktail drinks look really good. Ooh, I'm excited to try this French 75. Okay. You are. Okay. You are. You are. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, let's see. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, yeah, that tastes like money. That tastes like some expensive gin. Mm-hmm. Mm. Have you been a rock and roll? Do you do it? Have you done it? Yes. Uh, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, the food is out, guys. I got shrimp and grits. Look at that. Mm. Let me tell you, I'm so mad. That looks so good. I just, just want to get some. Do you want to try some? I want to try. I definitely okay. want to try. Definitely try. It looks so good. It's gonna be fire. Oh. It's really authentic. That's how it looked when I was in Louisiana. Oh, you can have some. I'm so glad you picked this place. Mm. So the little white plates on your right. Okay, I'll, I'll get them to get us another plate. Okay, let's try. Oh, I don't care. At all. Okay, that's it. That's all I need. No, I'm not. That's all I need. <laughs> I know, right? I just tear this out. It's not gonna be aesthetic. No. Right? Okay, I feel that. Don't clean it up. 
Okay, we're gonna let me taste some of my Edifay. Let's try it, y'all. It's good. Oh, it smells good. You know I'm gonna oh photo bomb you, right? Yeah, you are totally fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's smelly. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> Summer. Ooh, we should go patio. We should. Oh, this tastes amazing. Oh, I forgot how good Edifact was. Oh my god. I need shrimp and grits on better. Mm -hmm. I gotta see the cook. I'm like, hold on. Where are they from? They gotta be like from Louisiana, like, cause huh? Mm. This is good. I'm excited. Then throw my hot sauce on. <laughs> yes. Let's try the shrimp and grits. Ooh. Ooh, it smells really good. Mm. Mm. You don't want this. Oh. Try it. It's good. I'm not even. I'm just getting back into grits. It's creamy. I like it. This is great stuff. Oh, it's chili. It's hard. Mm. What is that? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's a shrimp. It just didn't have no bread in on it. It's okra in it too. It's, I know that's what it looks like okra, right? Oh, that's what it is. Okra. Wow, that's good. Let me try the shrimp. Oh, this is big shrimp. Oh, nice. That's it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's good. I like that the shrimp are big. That's good. The only thing that's missing is bread. They should have put a bread in there. I'm gonna have to ask him. No, Roya, we're Did coming back. Uh, look at this outside area, y'all. Roya tells me that jazz players come out here and they play. Is this not giving like Mardi Gras? Like, of course it's Mardi Gras colors. Like, that's so cute. What does that say? Lacey Le Bon something. Lacey Le Bon. Right? What the heck does that say? Look at the little tree, y'all. So cute. <laughs> You're so silly. Right? I did not know Blueberry was right there. We're just walking on Nulu, guys. Looking at all the shops. They have so much down here in the Nulu area. We're about to walk somewhere. Rory's about to show me another spot because why not? Let's go get all the vibes. I love it. I love that they built this down here. We needed something like this. It's super cute. It is. It's called Kentucky's best chocolate oh, chip they have cookie. The Bob have you been to Guacamole? Yes, I've been to Guacamole. It's cute. It is very cute in there. I've definitely been there. I think I went there like the first week it opened. Me and my <laughs> friends were super excited to go there. <laughs> yeah, we was like, oh yeah, we gotta go to Guacamole. See, all of these places I've never even like heard of. Bloomed roots is like a dry flower. A dry flower. Really? Oh, dry flowers. Okay. All right, this is Ravelry. Ra Ravelry. Okay. Here's where we're going. It's called Ravelry. Oh, how cute. Boutique and gallery. After you, my lady. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Hi. Hi, Rosa. Hi. You smelling me? We probably smell like food. We have Lulu's. Oh, everything in the store is local artists if you haven't been in before. Okay. 150 artists in the store right now. Ooh. She does Jack Carlin's all. She did all of his album uh, oh, art, yeah. all that. Look at Jack Muhammad. Oh, nice, babe. Yeah. You know, I love the jewelry. Love the jewelry. Oh my gosh, look at those. Uh, fly. Oh, fly. No way. Look at the night lights, y'all. That is neat. I've never seen a night light like this. What the heck? And local people do this. This is awesome. These are stickers? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. I've been getting hit Oh, oh. oh isn't this so cool? Uh, wait, this is so cute. Y'all, yeah. I love myself in all. I can't talk right now. I'm doing high girl shit. Hold on. I can't talk right now. I'm doing high Illustrator, like. Yeah. Like a digital illustration mixed in. Yeah. Ooh, I love this. Cute. I just bought a oh, green awesome. Thank you. I'm going to be with the love. Yes. Oh, I'm yes. Get my forehead as well. Okay, y'all, I'm about to go in here and see what this store is about because this looks really nice. Let's see. 
Oh, she looks cute. Yeah. Don't get it. Hi. Hi. Good. How are you? Yes, carefree black girls. A celebration of girls in black culture. Oh my gosh, I need that rug. Do y'all sell this rug? The money rug? Really? This is so cute. Don't be a pose before embryos. <laughs> Yes, cash is queen. Oh, that's cute. I got nails. Period. Your first class. Card. <laughs> it's the Beyonce candle for me. How much are these? The smell good. I love them. Okay guys, what's up? I'm back in the car from having lunch with Roya. Y'all, my shirt's annoying me so bad. Cause why does it keep rising up? Oh my gosh, time is flying. It's 2.42, we gotta get going. But you guys saw the lunch. Y'all, that was really good. Like my shrimps and grits, like eight out of 10. Like that was so good. But that etafe that Roya ordered, oh my gosh, that was a 10 out of 10. That was so good. When I come back, I'm definitely getting that. But I did go next door to this store. What's it called? It's called, I think, Kentucky Rivalry. Everything in that store is made by local, local people who live for, in Louisville. So it was nice. So someone made this really cute ring. Let me see if you can see it. Hopefully I'll show you guys a better um, a better view, but it's pink. It's a pink stone and it's so cute. It was 22 and I was like, you know what? Cause I need to get my ring collection up. So, cause I really only have like two rings, this and another one. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy this because it's pink. And I told you girls earlier, like we're just doing girly things. Like why not have a pink ring? Like it's really cute. Like I like it a lot. So period to just getting my ring collection going. But y'all, I need to go to, Burlington and Target so we got to hurry up because we got to get a mirror by 5 30 so I don't want to take all day so we're about to get moving we're about to go okay y'all so we're on our way to Burlington because we got to find us a new shower curtain it's 2024 and the shower curtain that I've been having I've been having for months now and I'm ready like I'm ready for something new you know I always film in my bathroom so I want a new background so I want a new shower curtain and then we need to go to Target and get a couple things. And I think that's it. We might run in Walmart too if we have time. But other than that, yeah, let's just keep going with the vibes. Keep going with the day. Hopefully you enjoyed what I've been showing so far. If you have, make sure you give this video a big like so that other people can find my channel and be a part of the family. But yeah, so I guess I'll just hit you guys back up when I get to Burlington. Okay guys, we are at Burlington. And I forgot to tell you, I'm also looking for a new lunch bag for work. So... The goal is to find a shower curtain and a lunch bag. So let's go. You guys, look at this. A Zara sweater for $6.29. Yes, ma'am. I do want that. Yes, ma'am. Okay guys, so I got over here to the lunchbox area. Let me turn. Yo, is this Steve Madden? Steve Madden? Okay, Steve Madden. Justice Simpson. This is really cute. Oh, this is only $10. Wow, this is kind of small though. I need a bigger one. They got some cute ones. Let's see. Okay, let's see. This is too small. No. I need a big one, y'all. This one's cute. It's too small. The, the Steve Madden has, it's big like I want. It's got a handle. Which color y'all like? This is a Steve Madden too. No, I'm not too crazy about this color. I mean, it will stay clean though, cause it's brown, but I don't want it a more girly color. But this is the perfect size. I mean, I need something big because the stuff I be carrying, it be big. Like I can't do nothing with these little small ones. Like I love this Jessica Simpson, but it's way too small. I can't, I can't even put a water bottle in that. It's like, mm -mm. 
Okay, so here's the shower curtains. I already seen one I like, y'all. What do y'all think about this? This is so pretty. Look at that one, y'all. The best part, it's only $10. Like, ain't that cute? Oh, this is cute too. Hold on. Oh, hold on. $10.99? Hold on. Which one? Oh, this is cute too. This is the one we're going home with, guys. Found it. So I came in TJ Maxx and I found one. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's way girlier. It's big. $16.99. I like it. I'll be able to like carry it like a purse. So found it. Okay guys, I'm back in the car now. I just left home good. And I think when I get home, I'm just gonna do a little small haul of everything I bought. But y'all, why is time flying? It's already 4.32. Amir has to be picked up by 5.30. And I'm across the bridge. I'm over in Indiana. I live in Kentucky. So it's gonna take at least 20 minutes to get back across the bridge and get all the way back to where his daycare is. So I gotta go. I don't wanna be picking him up late, nothing like that, because they will charge me a late fee. And yeah, we're not doing that. So. I'm about to go pick Amir up and we might go back out to Target because I did need to still go to Target. Sorry, y'all. My thing is shaking. But I did need to go back to Target. So, I don't know. We shall see. Just keep watching. And yeah, I can't wait to give you guys a haul and show you everything I bought from Burlington because I spent a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. But, okay, guys. Let me drive safely and I'll see you in the next clip. What's up guys? My big boy is home. Y'all want to see? I said home. Well, I just picked him up from daycare. He's in the car. Y'all want to see him in his seat? Hold on. Let me stop at this red light and I'm going to show y'all. Booty. Look at him in his seat, y'all. He needs to pick his thing up. Look at him. He looks, he's so cute, isn't he, y'all? He's a big boy. You a big boy. Did you have a good day at daycare? He trying to look at the window. He like, girl, I'm just trying to look at the window. Like, mommy. But his teacher said that he's been kind of fussy all day long. But they did, they did, well, she said on and off all day. But they did send me some pictures of him. Y'all want to see him? Come on, man. Ready to get out? Y'all, I got the McDonald's. I just pulled up back at home. But I was trying to show you guys the daycare pictures that they sent of today of Amir. Look at my baby. He loves playing on, he loves looking at the alphabet, y'all. He loves letters, he loves numbers. Like, I just love when they send me pictures. Okay, my baby's kind of fussy, y'all. He wants to be tired, but they say he took a nap at daycare, so I don't know, but I don't know. I'll just see you guys when I get in the house. I'm about to take my baby in the house, so we'll catch up. So yeah, because we gotta put this shower curtain up and all that, guys, so the vlog's still going, so let's go. Okay, you guys, I am back home, and now that I'm in better lighting, I can show y'all the ring look at it it's pink let me turn the light down just a little bit so you can see it yeah in it's natural state without that light isn't it pretty but anyways guys i was also thinking about that french 75 i showed y'all if you didn't know the girls on tiktoks are saying you know we need to retire the, the lemon drops and the girlies need to get into french 75s and y'all i see why it was good like it tastes really good with prosecco it's gin like i told y'all i'm not a gin fan but it was good. I like it. I would try it. It's a little bit more expensive than a lemon drop, I think, unless the place I got it was expensive. But, I mean, it's, it was cool. But shout out to Rhea because Rhea bought my drink. So, period. We love that. We love a supportive queen. Like, I just love Rhea. That's my girl. But anyways, guys, let's do a quick haul of what I got at Burlington because you guys pretty much didn't even see anything that I got at Burlington. So, I'm about to show y'all, y'all. Y'all yeah, know it's after Christmas. They ran out of bags, so how ghetto. They have to put my stuff in freaking trash bags. Here comes my son, y'all. That's my son on the door. Hold on. Yes, son. Okay, so let's start off with what you guys already saw, which is which is my shower curtain. Y'all, look at that. I have gold in this um, bathroom, but I mean, I want to do silver. It's fine. Silver and gold goes. So, oh, plus did I tell you guys, I kept my silver um, perfume thing. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Because I know I was saying I want to do the black, but actually the black kind of made my bathroom like... It made my sink look too cluttered. So I went and I kept the silver one. So now I got this silver to go with that. We got to put this up. Look at that. That's really cute. I, I feel like my camera's not doing it no justice. Like, it's really pretty. And then I got a shower curtain liner. Y'all, if you're not getting the shower curtain, curtain liner that has the weighted, what's it called? Here they are. That has weighted bottoms on it. Like, has like an actual weight. Like, 
yeah it's gotta have the weight on there because that's what's gonna make this stick to your bathtub so out with the old and with the new you guys so i can't wait to put this up we about to put this up tonight <laughs> okay now let me show y'all the clothes that i got because yeah that's the rest i got was just clothes so i got me a new workout outfit but okay let me show y'all the shirt first so i got me just this little pink plain workout shirt um, it was only $5.99 but when it comes to like working out y'all I only like like workout gym material I cannot work out in like a cotton shirt anything like that that makes you hot like I gotta have some breathable type of uh, material so that's why I got this because this was cute and it's really cheap $5.99 and look at the stitching on it it's really feminine it's gonna look really cute but the, what I really want to show y'all please do y'all see that check Nike Please tell me why I found some Nike leggings on clearance. Guess, guess how much? Nike yoga leggings. Look at that. Nike yoga. Y'all. $10.49. $10, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. I'm like, is that not a cute gym fit for under $20? Like, this is so cute. Like, actually, this was under, what, probably $17. Like, period and that's what i want to get into like buying more cute gym clothes you know because clearly i go to the gym so and then i kind of i think i should yeah i showed y'all this when i was in the store y'all this is a freaking zara zara shirt y'all zara i don't know if some like i don't know but sometimes i'll be finding zara at tj maxx like i have a couple zara shirts i have some zara pants and i got it from tj maxx i didn't even get it from zara but i was really surprised to see zara in burlington like what and y'all this was only 6.29 and y'all know i'm a professor y'all know i go to work so i'm like uh, -uh i can wear this to work plus my school colors is red so this is perfect and this is a really really good thick material like this is perfect for winter time i like this a lot so your yeah, girl got her a new work shirt period uh, look at my baby y'all he want to be loved y'all he wants to keep his jacket on he be liking to keep his jacket on i just let him say it's your world baby Mwah. Mwah. okay now the last thing that i got from burlington is this pink shirt i wish see my camera's not doing this shirt any justice either hopefully you can tell it's one of those like kind of like spandex material y'all it's so cute and it was only 10.99 i got this because i mean of course it's the winter time like you see how i went out to eat today and i was like kind of struggling to find a shirt so i just threw this one on that's why i'm like oh my gosh i need some more shirts to wear so i'm like this is cute like this will look cute with some jeans i'm really happy with this i know this is gonna be real cute on matter of fact we should try it on why not let's try it on <laughs> let's see it's gonna look 10 times better when i put my my real bra on because as you can see it looked crazy because this half bra got it looking crazy but this is a cute little shirt this is a cute little one two just throw something on gotta go to the store maybe go out to the movies go to lunch with a friend i like it <laughs> yeah i like it i like the color a lot it's really cute and i love this because look how my necklace can just lay right there that's cute i got my lunchbox from tj maxx and i'm really happy that i waited because this is a much better color than that steve madden that steve madden was cute but that was just a little too boyish for my taste so yeah look at it i really like this one because y'all it comes with two large food containers and it comes with a reusable ice pack so let's open it up as you can see it's got like leaves on it it's brown it's neutral color so it's not gonna get dirty period let me show y'all and of course it's insulated in the middle period oh look at the ice pack somebody's calling me mama look at the ice pack that's cute period hold on let me show you how the containers it come with okay period lunch box okay super cute all boxed up that's cute hey y'all i know y'all probably like girl why you ain't just get one off amazon y'all i didn't want to get one off amazon because i mean with amazon you taking a chance like and i knew i wanted a big lunch box like i did not want to order something cute and then i get her and it'd be this size like the size of my makeup bag like I can't put no lunch in here so I was like nah I'm gonna just have to get one in person go to the store and find one and I'm glad I did because this is perfect yeah. let's get changed and then we'll put the shower curtain on okay y'all I changed into a more comfortable shirt look at my son because I'm trying to show y'all 
Look at him. I got this little stool thing I bought when I first got this house. Amir, pick your toilet thing up. Look at him trying to climb it. Look at <laughs> Look at him, y'all. He is too much. You better get down. Mommy got to use this so her can put the shower curtain up. Yeah, come down. Big dog status, Bill Hubble. I bought Lennox Mall for my brothers. Go yard bag, told the cuddle. I got it out the field, fuck Russell. Going ass Lori about the paddock, then going ass Joy and ass dead. Philippe Water trying to drown a bitch. This a heavy tricking on a bitch. Shit, I'm thinking I'm cribbing a pimp. Shit, I'm cooking up dope like it's dinner. Shit, that curve was gonna sit, nigga, trim. Shit, I'm floating, I'm mad in the blimp. Y'all ain't gonna believe this, but I don't think I like it. See, this is my dilemma. In person, it's beautiful. Like, I'm just looking at it, like, in my mirror. Like, y'all can't really see it. I wish y'all could really see, like, let me try to turn the light down. Like, it's really glittery, but on camera, it just don't do nothing for me. Like, look at that. I don't know if I want that white background in the back of me. Comment down below. Should I keep it? Take it back. I'm probably gonna take it back y'all I ain't gonna lie I'm probably gonna take it back and get another one because it's just not doing what I want it to do like so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put the other one up I'm just gonna put my new um shower liner in for tonight then because you know I'm, I got a shower and stuff tonight and tomorrow I'm gonna have to go find me another one because I don't like this one so that's why I ain't put it completely up because I'm like mm, I don't like it I don't like it y'all I'm sorry I don't like it it's cute in person but Nah. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Let me put this silver. Uh, let me put this liner up, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So the next time that you see me in the vlog, I will have a new shower curtain. I'm gonna go to Burlington, closer to my house. Take the take that white one back. Get a new one. And yeah. So sorry I didn't get to show you guys like my new shower curtain. I'm kind of sad about that. But as you can see, I do have the shower liner up. So period. That'll just do for tonight. So I can get me another real shower curtain in the morning. But did you guys enjoy today? It was so much fun, right? I so enjoyed girl chat, having fun a little shopping everything that makes a girl a girl so definitely if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the family if you're not already follow me on all my social medias and yeah i can't wait to see you guys back in my next vlog i love you all so much thanks for watching Mwah. peace